Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to remove the Google Updater app from the Allow in the Background section and on macOS Ventura. So many have said that after they have updated their macOS to Ventura, they are now constantly getting this prompt that the Google Updater has been added in the background section as you could see and they are getting this prompt at regular intervals. So even after disabling the Google Updater from the Allow in the Background, they are still getting this prompt. So if you're also facing the same issue, then this video will show you how to fix it. So first and foremost, go to the system settings menu and from there go to general, then go to login items and from here make sure to turn off Google Updater. Once you have turned it off, you could then move ahead to our fix. So in this regard, there are two fixes. The first fix is removing the Chrome PLS file, whereas the second fix is making, making some changes to the PLS file. So let's check out both these fixes. First off, let me show you how to fix the issue by removing the Chrome PLS file. So open the Finder window and from there go to Go and select Go to Folder. Now simply copy paste this location, copy this location from my guide. The link is given in the description. So go to that guide and copy this location. Then in the Finder window, in the Go to Folder, simply paste it and hit Enter. Once you are in this location, verify the files which belongs to Google Chrome. In my case, the com Google Keystone agent and com google keystone xp service are the two files of google chrome so just remove both these files select it via the command key mouse click key and hit delete once this once both these files have been removed you will now have to go to the following location is the new location this time again copy this command copy the location then go to open finder and go to go to folder and paste this location and hit enter Again, verify if there is any Google Chrome file or not. In my case, there is no Chrome file in this location. So I'm leaving it blank. If there is any Google Chrome file in the location, make sure to remove them as well. Finally, you have to go to this location. So again, copy this location and open the finder and select go, go to folder. So paste this location and verify if there is any Google Chrome file there or not. Again, in my case, there is no Google Chrome file. So I don't have to remove anything. If there is a file belonging to Google Chrome in your case, then make sure to remove it. So to recall, you have to remove the Google Chrome file from the these three locations and out of which, as you could see in my case, only the Google Chrome file was there in the in the first location. Moreover, the name of the playlist file will be com Google Keystone Agent playlist as well as com Google Keystone XP XPC service playlist. So make sure to remove both this service and then restart the system settings menu. Once you restart the system settings menu and go to the general section and login item section, this should be removed. However, in some cases, you might again get back the Google Updater app once you restart your Mac. That don't usually happen, but in rare cases, I have also witnessed that happening. So if it is happening with you as well, even after removing both these files, then you have to move over to our next fix. So in the next fix, we have to simply make a few changes to this file. So open the Finder window, then go to Go and select Go to Folder. Now simply copy paste this location and input in the go to folder location and hit enter once you are in this location select the com google keystone agent playlist file right click on it and select open with then choose text edit once you are under text edit, edit let me show you now the status of this file so this is the text edit file as you could see the run at load value has been set to true so what you have to do is simply change this value to false so change it to false and use the command S shortcut keys to save it. Once you have saved the changes, restart system settings and then Google updater should be removed from the allowing the background section. So guys, these are the two methods to carry out this task. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.